Hey guys, it's Ginger. Welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a nail design for you. Um, I've been seeing like these blonde tortoiseshell type looking nails and I wanted to kind of put my own spin on that. So I just, I got inspired and I just grabbed my camera and started recording because I just needed some fall type nails in my life. <laughs> I feel like autumn is the start of fall for me. Um, I've just swatched the, well, the back to school collection, which is kind of like the fall collection for Madame Glam. And I used one of those colors in this design and it just, oh, it's so, so pretty. So let me tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> I grabbed Purity, which is like a milky white. Oh God, I love this color so much. And I used that as my base. I did two coats of that. Now I'm going in with the blooming gel or the art gel or whatever you want to call it gel <laughs> you can use base gel to do this you don't have to use blooming gel but the blooming gel works pretty good and i have it so i'm going to use it and then this color right here which i have not swatched for you guys yet i do have it sitting on my shelf just something i picked up it's called wicked oh my goodness it is so beautiful it's kind of like um like a terracotta brownie terracotta kind of shade I, it's just absolutely gorgeous and i think it went perfect with this set so what I'm doing is I'm just taking that wicked color and just blotting it right into that blooming gel and letting it spread out and do its thing then I'm going to completely leave that uncured and go in with the black go right into the middle of wicked and I didn't want to get too much black but enough to I don't know these these ended up looking more like cheetah ish nails I guess than turtle tortoiseshell like I don't know <laughs> but nonetheless I like how they turned out so call it what you want <laughs> this is my little interpretation of a cheetah leopard turtle tortoiseshell whatever design so anyways um, I put a little bit more black in there because it wasn't quite enough for me and I'm just taking my little detail brush and just spreading it out a little bit um, with it being on top of that uh, wicked shade it's not spreading as much as it would just on the blooming gel so I just wanted to spread it out a little bit more and I just wanted it kind of sloppy not like perfect circles just here there and everywhere so now I'm taking coffee talk Oh my gosh, you guys, the shade is so pretty. I love this brown. I don't have a brown sparkle and this is so good. Oh, I love it. So I'm using that just to add a little bit of detail to the inside of the splotchies. So just going around haphazardly wherever. Again, not making it really perfect. I want it to look a little abstract, kinda. I did cure um, after I put the black in over the terracotta shade, over the blooming gel. <laughs> I did cure that layer before I went in with this brown sparkle. So I popped that in the lamp. I did 60 seconds because it's a little bit on the thicker side with that blooming gel. So I went ahead and cured it for 60 seconds. Your Madame Glam gels will cure in 30 seconds, however. But when I do certain designs and stuff, I like to just make sure it has that extra cure so now i am finished with that nail and i decided or am i finished with it i think i go in and put a border around it anyways but i went in with like a base coat over top of it just to level it out a little bit because of that blooming gel it got a little lumpy bumpy so i wanted it to look more smooth and even so just put a base gel down yeah I think I go in with this gold. Okay, it's not you, it's me, which is a gorgeous gold. If you don't have this in your collection, you need it for Christmas, it's perfect. It looks beautiful with red. I love it, it's a very good gold. Yeah, and then I decided to take that and just line the whole border of the nail with it. And I think it turned out really pretty. So the main part of this design or this video is this nail in particular. And then I did two other nails to go with it just to kind of give it 
more of a complete look and you'll see those here in a minute but they're not as jazzy as this one so <laughs> So I just going in with the gold all around the border, getting it as thick as I'd like it. I think I decided to go in and thicken it up just a little bit more on the sides. And once I'm happy with that, I cure that in the lamp. Okay, now for the other sh nails. I used the shade um, Coffee Talk just as a full nail on its own because I just wanted to highlight the glitter. Oh my god, I love the shade so much, you guys. It's so pretty. I'm not like one to like usually wear brown on my nails, but I would wear a full set of this brown shade just because the sparkle in it is so fall. It's got that gold just, oh, look at that. Orangey gold brown, perfect fall. I love it so much. And then I go in again with the shade Wicked. I'm going to do two coats of that on this nail. I love this shade as well. My Actually my coworker, she saw this on the Madame Glam website and asked me if I could order it in and I said absolutely. And I got it and I am so happy I did. Oh my gosh is it pretty. This is going to be a good one for fall. I think I'm going to do a video that has like my top 10 fall picks of Madame Glam shades in it. Um, let me know if you guys be interested in that and I think this one will definitely be in it so yeah I think like a top 10 fall colors would be good and also I want to do a live video where I just sit and live chat with everybody about um, like swatches and just compare stuff for you because I get a lot of questions about like how does this color compare to this color and do you have this color or not so I just want to sit and do like a live video and let you guys ask me questions and I could just sit and compare them live. So let me know if you're interested in that video as well. Okay, well that's it guys. So I put a little bit of gold accent on that Wicked color and now I'm just top coating everything and I will show you the finished look here. Oh, I just love how these look together. Oh, look at that sparkle. Yep, there they are. That's the finished design. Um, I'd probably do another uh, nail with the Wicked, just solid on its own, and another nail with the Coffee Talk solid on its own to complete the set. That's probably how I would design it on a client. So let me know what you think of this design, guys. Would you call this leopard or turtle shell? I don't know, but I like it. So I hope you guys like it too, and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.